Hello everyone, I wanted to talk about this cheap uh, Amazon um, auger that I found, or sink snake, or whatever you want to call it. I got it for $18 on Amazon, I'll put a link below. I've had this thing for about a year and a half now, and I have nothing but great things to say about it. And uh, actually my tub, my bathtub just clogged up about three days ago, so I thought it'd be great to make a video show how this thing works and why I really feel everyone, every household should have one of these things. Because for the longest time I was using liquid drain cleaner or things like that, but not only are those you know, chemicals and probably not good for the environment, but a lot of the times it didn't work or you'd have to buy a second or third bottle to really undo the clog. This thing gets uh, my tub clear every time I use it. So for this, for this presentation, I'm gonna be using the, the auger itself. I always wear some gloves so my hands don't get all gross from you know soap scum and hair and all that nasty stuff that's down there. Need a Phillips screwdriver and a some uh, paper towels. So let's do it. All right, here's my bathroom, and as you can see, uh, we have a lot of scum here because it's been clogged for the past couple days. You can even see my girlfriend's some of her shampoo here. But the drain is open, as you can see, and if I turn on the water, luck would have it. It's starting to back up. I don't know if you can really see that on the video, but it's not draining like it's supposed to. It just keeps building. All right, the first thing that I do is I take my Phillips and take off the top part here. For a while, I was going through the bottom drain on the bathtub, but I realized I have... I had better luck by going this way. I remember the screw being quite long. Alright, we got that removed. And as you can see, there's a little, little uh, kind of plate here that blocks it. But luckily, this, uh, this auger goes right through it. Now some tubs, now some tubs don't have this little plate, and if you don't have that, consider yourself blessed. But luckily with this thing, because it's kind of a coiled device, all I have to do is kind of put it in at the lower end, and then I twist it with this dial and keep kind of pushing while I'm while I'm turning. And as you can see, it kind of just rotates on in there. Come on, baby. Oh, almost there. And we're in. Like I said, some sinks or tubs don't have that, and you can avoid that step, but it's never that much of a hassle. So once we're in, I'm going to loosen up the little device, the little locking thing here. You got 25 feet of cable in here, by the way. And you're just going to want to start feeding that in a little bit at a time until you feel it stop. And that's usually where a clog is. So. I can feel it hit something there. So I'm gonna to wanna to lock it in place. Actually, I'm gonna bring it in just a little bit. Let me put this on a little bit more here. Cause you wanna, you want it to be kind of close, probably four inches, and then lock it. And then, you put it back on wide angle here. You start rotating as you're kind of pushing. And the idea is that that little coil will push through all the hair or soap grime or what have you that's in there. So I usually do this for about 30 seconds to a minute. If you feel it push all the way through, then you know you're, you're good that way. But sometimes I pull it back up and you'll see a bunch of hair on the coil. I'm a pretty hairy guy, so I usually have to do this about every couple months but I can feel it going in further so see what we got pull it on back oh yeah it looks pretty gross already I can kind of see it and then we're gonna pull back turn counterclockwise Again, you can avoid this step if your tub doesn't have this. But as you can see, <laughs> that's kind of gross. 
But just wanted to show you how effective this thing is. Come on, almost there. This is where the gloves come in handy and the paper towels. I wish if you can have two people, sometimes it's you can avoid it splattering everywhere when you pull it out. And this is the example of why you kind of want to have a helping hand to kind of use the paper towels and uh, block it as it's coming out. Otherwise it can splatter. Quick cleanup, but look at all that stuff we got on there. I'm going to guess that was probably contributing to the clog in my bathtub, but I'm going to give it another whirl. I'm going to go in there until uh, it hits another spot. If it does and try to clear that out, I'll be right back. Another useful tool that I recommend is a simple box cutter. You can just kind of cut the hair and it comes off a lot easier than trying to get it off any other method. Luckily this stuff doesn't stink. It smells like soap because it's mixed with soap. So at least it smells kind of clean. All right, next I'll just wipe everything down real quick, the big chunks with some paper towel, just so it doesn't go back down the drain and start contributing to another clog. And in all fairness, this was not all my hair. It's my girlfriend's long blonde hair too that she shampoos her hair twice a day. And uh, between the two of us, we're kind of a hair producing machine. All right, we're gonna go in again, see what we... All right, rinse, wash, and repeat. Stick it in there, start pushing. You know, a professional plumber can do these, this process faster, but I kind of take some pride doing it myself, being a homeowner. So again, once you're inside, start feeding it down. Take a feel it stop. There, it's stopping again. So I'm gonna go in about four inches and then use my little lock in place nut and start twisting away. Oh, it's clearing pretty good. All right, so we're gonna unlock it. Feed a little bit more. There it is, locked again. Usually I get one or two big pulls of hair and goop and all that stuff before the drain has been free. Oh, there, did you hear that? Now it's going all the way in. Sounds like it's free to me. So we're gonna unlock it, start pulling it back. I don't see that much. I might've just pushed the remainder through down the pipe but I really feel like the drain is gone. Let's give it a shot here. All right, moment of truth. Turn on the water. And looks like it is draining. So that was the clog. Success. All right, well, I hope you found this video informative and useful. Um, again, I highly recommend a drain auger, drain snake, whatever you wanna call it. Again, I found this one for 18 bucks on Amazon. Link is below. Highly recommend it if you are a homeowner and you experience an occasional clogged uh, bathtub because again, me producing a lot of hair and my girlfriend with her long blonde hair, this thing saves us from calling a plumber every couple months. Um, it just takes me about 15, 20 minutes to kind of get everything done. It's kind of just part of home maintenance. But, um, you know, these things run like 30 to $50 at Lowe's or Home Depot. But Amazon, 18 bucks, can't beat it. Um, hope you all have a good one and get that clog unclogged. Get that clog unclogged. <laughs>